Hello, this is How To Bob, and today we're going to build a truck ramp for a tractor or a motorcycle or what have you. And we start out with a 5 8 inch thick piece of plywood ripped down the center to 2 foot, four 2 by 4s and two 1 by 6s And for the hardware, I use two heavy duty shelf brackets, two half inch by 4 inch bolts, and four 3 8 by 1 inch bolts, and some nuts and washers. Started out by putting one of the 2x4s up against the tailgate of my truck since that's how I'm going to be using the ramp and scribe the shape of the bottom of the tailgate. This will give me the pattern I need to cut so that I'll have a nice tight fit. I'll go ahead and use my saber saw here and cut out the notch for the bottom of the tailgate. Once I'm done with the first one, I can go ahead and lay it across the other three, and I have my template there, so I'll just have to cut the other three the same way. And once I've got all four of my boards cut, I'm going to check the fit on the bottom of the tailgate, and it looks like a good fit. Now to get the angle on the bottom of my board, I laid a 2x4 on the ground and drew a line right across it. I give me a perfect angle and what I do is just transfer that line over to the corner of the 2x4 and then I can make my cut. Now I fit the 2x4 up to the tailgate and it looks like we have a good fit with the ground so I'm good to go. The next step I did is laid out my 2x4s, put them up against the edge of the plywood and screwed them in every Four to six inches is good, and I used a good quality deckmate screw. About two inches long works fine for this application. And the next step I'm going to do is measure to the center of both halves of my ramp, and I'm going to make a handle by drilling two one and a half inch holes and connecting the two holes. It'll give me a nice slot that I can use to move the ramp around. Incidentally, this is the same way I made the holes for the strap that will hold the ramp to the bed of the truck. Now that I have my two holes made, I just connect the two holes and use my saber saw to cut out the area to make the handles. The next step I did is take the angle bracket and cut it into two straight strips of metal and all I did is took a hacksaw and cut right across here and then I cut across here and that gave me two straight pieces of metal. Once I got done cutting I took a file and cleaned up the edge so there were no jagged sharp edges. Kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Once I got all the rough edges cleaned up I can take a 3 8 inch drill and drill the bottom hole and then I can lay it on my plywood and mark the metal straps that I have where I'm going to bend them. Now to bend them, I put them in a vise right on the mark that I just made. Make sure it's clamped down good and tight. And then I simply take a hammer and bend it over until I get it at the right angle for my truck. This took a little bit of trial and error, but with a little bit of patience you can get all four identical. Now I'm going to mark the underside of my ramp and go ahead and drill a hole. You really only have to drill one hole because the top hole is going to be sitting on the tailgate of your truck and if you put a bolt in there that would scratch up the tailgate of your truck. So I'll go ahead and tighten this bolt in. I've got a carriage bolt here so the top head will be flush. And here's what it looks like underneath with all four metal straps in place. You can see I added a cross member to make it stronger. Now I've got my two sides bolted together. I'm going to check the fit on my tailgate and I'm going to move on to the side rails. Take the one by sixes and what I did is took a roll of duct tape and drew a line around it. This gives me my contour of what I'm going to cut so I have a nice rounded edge on it. Just give it a great looking appearance. I'm going to take my saber saw and cut around the marks that I made using the duct tape. Now you can use whatever works, whatever you have around the garage that has that radius that you're looking to get. Now 
I've got the rounded part of my side rail lined up at the top of the ramp, so I'm going to go ahead and mark the bottom part of my ramp so I can cut it to length. Then what I do is measure back 10 inches with my tape measure. And the reason I did this is so that I can get an angle at the bottom of my ramp side rail. So I transfer my mark that I made at 10 inches up to the top of the 1x6. And then I make the line where I'm going to cut my ramp to the correct length. And from there, I make my angle mark. And this is where I'm going to cut. Now I've got my board cut to length. Now all I have to do is cut the angle. Okay, now that I've got the top of my side cut, I can go ahead and put it back on the side of the ramp and mark it so I can cut the bottom angle. Okay, now that I have both angles, my top and bottom angle, I want to lay this on my other side piece and just simply trace it and that'll make a perfect fit on the other side. And go ahead and cut that just the same as I did the last piece. Okay, now I'm ready to screw the sides on. And to hold this in place, what I did is took a couple pieces of scrap 2x4 and laid them on the ground. And that lined up my side pieces just perfectly. And I want to go ahead and put the screws in every four to six inches. Now that I've got all my screws in, I want to go ahead and put some wood putty over the screw holes. That way it'll give it a nice clean finish when I go to paint the side rails. When I go to finish the deck of the ramp, I'm going to use Rust-Oleum's Deck Restore. It gives a nice slip resistant surface and it fills in all the imperfections. So I just pour that on and I use the roller that came with the Rust-Oleum Deck Restore Kit. And I want to go in one direction as I roll this stuff on because it will form a pattern. It takes two coats of the Rust-Oleum Deck Restore to get the desired results, but as you can see, it fills in all the screw holes that I left. On the edges of the ramp, you'll need to use a brush to get all the way up into the corner. After about three to four hours of dry time, I can go ahead and apply my second coat. And again, I want to keep rolling in the same direction because it will form a pattern. This Rust-Oleum Deck Restore can be mixed into almost any color. I chose the color Carbon. And what I did is had another quart of exterior paint mixed so that I could do the side rails and the outside of the ramp because I don't want that part to be textured. That can be smooth, so I put two coats of that on the outside, had it color matched to the same color that I had my deck restore. Okay, after two coats of paint and a few days dry time, I'm ready to put my ramp together. I'm gonna use my half inch by four inch bolt and I'll just tap that into place here. And on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and put a big flat washer on before I put my nut on. This will help hold the two pieces together. And I use two bolts to hold this ramp together. You could use more if you prefer, but two seems to hold it very nicely for what I'm using it for. And once I'm done, I can go ahead and set the ramp up on the tailgate of the truck, and I use ratchet straps to hold it in place. And this is how I built my truck ramp. This is How To Bob. Thanks for watching.